Alright guys, what is up and welcome back to Gary's Mod and today we'll be taking a look at the Gordon Freeman scripted NPC. Guys, we thought the whole time we were Gordon Freeman, but little did we know we were just imposters. This, my friends, is the real Gordon Freeman. And also, side note, I did not know there was an NPC back here. He just kind of walks back and forth and he looks like a really low res textured NPC. I don't know, it's weird. Anyway, Gordon Freeman is the star of today's video. His combat prowess is unmatched, being able to completely change weapons depending on the range of the enemies that he's facing or the types of enemies he's facing. Also, if Gordon ever sustains any type of damage, he can easily go ahead and heal it off by picking up a health pack or even using a healing kit on the wall. And also, civilians and rebels that you spawn will no longer follow you because they'll be following the real Gordon Freeman. Guys, there's a plethora of different things that this guy can do. We all know Gordon's an amazing guy, and I think this mod does a really good job at projecting the things he can do into an NPC. Without further ado though, of course, let's take a look at the Features tab and take an in-depth look at everything he can do. Also guys, if anyone did suggest this, it'll be down below. I want to thank you guys so much for suggesting. If you want to suggest something, please do it in the comment section down below or in the Discord page in the description. Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Gary's Mod. Unfortunately, I do not have the lovely Kylie here today with me. But that's okay, because we are back at Mod Showcases, and today, as you saw, we're going to do Gordon Freeman. And I don't know what the hell's going on here. I think he uh, he's supposed to hold this. Oh. Yeah, we'll just we'll throw that onto the side. Get out of the way, I'm doing a Mod Showcase here. So as I said previously, there's a lot of things that this guy can do. We're going to go ahead, though, and set Gordon up by giving him his HEV suit. Easily go ahead, and if I can find it, go into Half-Life 2, spawn the suit, and Gordon will now don the HEV suit. And you'll notice he has 100 health and 100 armor, and of course he can replenish those by simply dropping down some batteries, and he will pick them up automatically until he has full armor. He's almost there. And there we go. You also notice that the HEV suit does talk, just like it does on you. Now let's take a look at every single thing this guy can do, and trust me, there's a lot of things. There's like 3,000 lines of code or something like that, so whoever made this, good job. Alright guys, so I briefly went over this in the overview, but yes, you are no longer Gordon Freeman, so they're not going to follow you anymore. They're going to follow this guy. And I wonder if he'll follow us. Okay, Gordon's a little bit touchy. He kind of does what he wants. So we're going to spawn a combine. Yeah, as you can see, they are following him. That's actually pretty cool. So we're going to spawn a combine soldier now and see exactly what happens. By combine, I mean Metro Police, guys. Sorry. All right, so here we go. Metro Police has been spawned. Gordon doesn't have to do anything because the civilians kind of killed him. Okay, we can't have that. You guys are interfering with my video, so we have to get rid of you. Let's try that one more time, shall we? There's Gordon. Oh, he's killing Eli. What, what a douchebag. <laughs> Eli's not even doing anything. He's literally motionless. But uh, now his blood is all over the uh, the cremator head. Is that what this thing was called? I forgot. But I know it was in the beta. It was supposed to like clean up the bodies along the sides of the street. Yeah. Half-Life 2 was supposed to be a very, very dark game. Alright, guys. Now what happens if Gordon takes some damage? I mean, we saw that he picks up these health vials and all that. But... What about his armor? Instantly, he runs to the nearest armor station, which I conveniently placed right in front of him. He'll go ahead and charge that up until it's full, and then he'll go about his business. I love how dynamic this NPC is. When I first saw this, I was like, eh, it looks alright, but not good enough for a video. But ho oh, ho ho, was I wrong? Okay, let's go ahead and take a step further now, and let's damage his health. No, Gordon. Get away from there. Gordon, you, you can't. I can't even freeze him. Gordon Freeman's unstoppable. Okay, well, let's see if you can get to it now. I don't think Gordon can reach that high. So, oh, look how sad he is. He can't get to his armor charging station. That's okay, because you're going to need a lot more than armor for this test. We're going to damage his health now, and just like with the armor station, he will fully charge his health. Oh, and he'll even pick up some health kits. So he found that that was more efficient, I guess, because it leaves him less open. He can kind of move around. He doesn't have to sit in one spot. Why is it still making that sound? Gordon, you have been tainted. We must get rid of you. Also, guys, I just want to go over this real quick. Go ahead in the console and type in Gordon Equipped 1. And doing this... 
didn't do anything. Haha, silly me, it did do something. When you type that in with one, you will now spawn Gordon with the HEV suit already equipped. And this is going to be very good for my video, so we don't have to keep spawning the suit over and over again. And for this test, we only need one Gordon Freeman. Before I forget, guys, I just want to say Gordon Freeman is armed to the teeth. You think he only has a shotgun? Oh, you are wrong. Also, I don't know why he keeps freaking out when I get close to him. I guess he's like, you're not the real Gordon Freeman, so... Anyway, guys, we'll spawn a Combine Soldier. And let's see how this goes. So, he's more interested in the, uh, the poor Vortigaunt, but of course, Gordon knows what to do. Alright, guys. We are now in a creepy long corridor. I'm pretty sure this goes to Ravenholm. Um, I always wanted to go back here as a kid when I played this on uh, Xbox, so this is pretty cool that we get to actually experience this, I mean back here, and of course, there's nothing, unfortunately. But I want to summon a Combine Soldier way down there, and then Gordon Freeman way down here to see how he reacts based on the distance. I want to see if he does switch out an appropriate weapon, and he does the AR and, ooh, the SMG. I don't know what's going on here. There's obviously no nodes back here, so... This might explain everything. Gordon's just kind of... Gordon, are you okay? Oh, oh, there we go. He just needed someone to look him in the eye. What a lovely man. And just like that, he has been destroyed. So good job, Gordon. You did a good job. I'm proud of you, man. Now, what about an enemy that is way back here? I'm curious to see what Gordon will pull... Oh! Whips out the crossbow! That's what I was hoping for. So for very long distances, Gordon's not afraid to, to whip that thing out, if you know what I mean. But now he's just sitting there again. Gordon, you got this, man. Look me in the eye, man. We got this. No, look this way. Gordon. Gordon's being difficult, guys. He's a little introverted today. And he's not doing what he's supposed to. I think it's definitely because of the nodes. Let's move him closer. Whips out the shoddy. They're having a staring contest. Gordon's got a weird hunchback or something. I know it's the HEV suit, but he his neck is... Look how bad he is. I guess that's what happens when you have a job behind the desk your whole life. Anyway, Gordon's just going to sit there for a while. We're going to go on to the other test while he does that. My point is, is that he has an array of weapons that he can switch on the fly, depending on the situation. And that's going to really shine in different maps. I really don't know why I chose this map, but I guess to really relive that Gordon experience. Also, guys, I want to go over this real quick. Go back into the console and go into Gordon Neutral to Cops. Now, if Gordon's wearing the lab coat and he doesn't have a weapon equipped, then he will be neutral to the Metro Cops, as he is in the beginning of Half-Life 2. Now, I'm not going to test this because it's going to be a lot of work just to show a very basic detail, but just take my word for it, it does work. Alright guys, another test here, and this time I'm going to demonstrate that Gordon will sprint towards a health station if his health is low enough. If it gets to 20 or below, he won't just walk to the health kit, he will sprint towards it. So we're going to test that here now to see if that is true. Sorry Gordon, I love you man, but this is going to really suck. Okay, I, I, I messed up there. Silly me, I took way too much of his health down. Okay. I think that's him sprinting. I don't know, he ganged health out of somewhere. I don't know how that happened, but... Is that it? Or, oh, that's that's all there is in there, isn't it? Damn, I forgot how little these things have. Okay, so Gordon... Okay, so that's his health. For some reason, why am I not doing armor damage? Is it because of the weapon I have? No. All right, so let's really test this, guys. Poor Gordon Freeman. We're gonna drop a health vial this time and see if we have the same effect. Nope, Gordon doesn't seem tempted. He's like, I don't need that. I'm a, I'm a, what is he doing? A weird stance. And look at that. What is up with that? That is, whatever. All right, guys, I don't know about you, but I want to deck Gordon out. So I think he already has all of his weapons already equipped, but I do want to test this. So, um, oh boy. Let me see if I can spawn some of the Half-Life weapons here and that should do justice. All right, guys, I was hoping to tempt Gordon with these weapons here, but he doesn't seem to be going for it. So I'm going to see if we can get the, the crowbar to spawn, because that's really what I want him to get. Come on, Gordon, just pick it up, man. It's right there. Does this work? No? Okay. He must already have a crowbar. I wanted to demonstrate his melee capabilities. He actually will whip the crowbar out 
if need be. So we might have to change map to really demonstrate that for sure, because I don't want to miss out on some awesome crowbar action. But there, there's the, oh, Jesus. There's the melee attack. So he'll use the butt of his gun if he has to. As you can see right there, perfect example. I'm just going to keep switching until he, oh, okay. I thought Gordon died for a second. I was going to, Gordon, why are you spazzing out, man? All right, so we're going to change maps, guys. This is not a good map. I don't know why I thought this would be, but I'll see you on the other side. All right, guys, so I'm going to spawn. I got to do this quick. I got to spawn Gordon Freeman here in a real live combat. S oh, Jesus, Gordon, put that thing away, man. I didn't expect him to whip the rocket launcher out. Jesus, he's such an overkill. But that's how Gordon rocks. He don't give no shits about anti-RPG or anything. He oh, grenade. I thought he was going to throw the rocket launcher for a second. This is insane. Gordon has lost his mind. I don't know. Oh, gee, Gordon. Careful, man. You almost killed me. I will say one thing, though. He's definitely being efficient. I mean, he's just killing everything. Gordon is taking some considerable damage here, though. And with no health in sight, he might be in some trouble. Gordon. Gordon, no. The, oh, that was nothing. Just a little bit of knockback. This man is a machine. Seriously, I don't know what the hell was that. He's not even done yet. He's trying to snipe this guy with a shotgun. This is the best NPC I've ever seen. He just doesn't even care. Well, Gordon, what are you shooting at? There's nothing down there. I think there's supposed to be an enemy. Let me see. Is there an enemy over here? Maybe he's shooting at this? Because I know an enemy does spawn there, and there is a few around. Gordon, I don't see anyone, man. Oh, Gordon, behind you. This might be a bad idea. Okay, you know what? You know what's even better than one Gordon? How about a few Gordons? So let's go crazy. This is going to be the end of the video, guys. I want to go over a few things that I didn't show in the video. He's just lobbing grenades like a psychopath. <laughs> Shooting RPGs every second. Um, This is... Oh no, Gordon's down, but of course we have more Gordons where that came from. Oh, the Combine would really be facing hell if there was really this many Gordons. Okay, while all this hell is going on, guys, I'm gonna go over just a few things. Are they shooting the dropships? <laughs> okay, this is, this is getting out of hand. Alright guys, so pretty much he can take ammo out of ammo crates. He will not take health vials if he detects that your health, the player's health, is lower than his. What a considerate guy. He also takes fall damage, so he does die from falling. In fact, let's demonstrate that right now. So he has 71 health right here. We're going to drop him. 61. So, of course, realistic damage isn't on in Gary's mod by default as usual. Also, of course, guys, it goes without saying he has limited ammo. So he obviously doesn't have infinite ammo. But he can throw grenades, as we've, we've already established. Pretty much, guys, these are all just little things that add up to a very, very nice cohesive package and a very hilarious one at that when you spawn him on the regular Half-Life map. So, I honestly... Oh, he bounced that off the ground, so he even trick shots. He, he doesn't even care. Gordon's just that much of a bamf. <laughs> so that's going to be the end of this video, guys. What a hilarious video. I am so glad I did this mod now. I was skeptical at first because I'm like, this might not be good enough for a video. But oh my god, this definitely is. This is by far the best Gordon Freeman mod I've ever seen. And it really does feel like this is Gordon Freeman if he was on crack and he was insane. Which is probably true to some extent. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it and laughed, please leave a like and let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. And if you really like this video, maybe think about subscribing. You can uh, see more videos just like this. I do mod showcases all the time on Gary's Mod and sometimes GTA and maybe some other games someday. Who knows? Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Follow my Facebook and Twitter down below. And thank you to my patrons. You guys are amazing and help me do what I do. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time guys, thanks for watching and farewell. Also, please click the video to the left to see the last video I did. And the video right next to that on the right is going to be the video before that one. Again guys, thanks for watching until the absolute end. And I'll see you in the next video guys. Until next time, farewell.